What natural disaster occurred in your country? Are you part of the ones that live to tell its tale? Disasters are, well, disastrous. We put a lot of meaning into them, but also we think about how we can be better prepared for it the next time nature strikes. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the craziest natural disasters in the world that you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get more notifications of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Believe it or not, there have already been a lot of natural disasters that happen over the course of time. The world we lived in has faced a lot of tragedy even now as we speak. We have lost so many lives to these disasters and even pets. However, we do learn that life moves forward. In this episode, the bestest will highlight some of the most outrageous natural disasters that has struck our world. And you should know what these natural disasters are. At number one, we have the Shangxi earthquake in 1556. We all know that China is the fourth largest country in the world. So an earthquake affecting over a third of its massive land area in Shangxi, China and killing over 830,000 people is something we can consider truly tragic. It had a magnitude of 8.0 to 8.3 that completely destroyed everything in Huangshan City while devastating more than 97 counties in the country. This may not have been the strongest earthquake to have struck our world, but it did manage to leave a high body count. Even though that this earthquake happened 500 years ago, Chinese scholars managed to keep detailed accounts of what had happened on that tragic day in 1556. Shocked? Stay until the end of this episode to have an idea of what other disasters there are and what happened. So let's move on to what's next on our list. At number two, we have the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815. In April 1815, Indonesia's Mount Tambora exploded in one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in known history. This disaster resulted at around 70,000 to 100,000 deaths. The blast alone managed to kill tens of thousands of people in Southeast Asia. It even hurled a gargantuan ash cloud into the stratosphere. These clouds managed to migrate across the globe, causing weather distortions on a large scale. In India, Tambora induced droughts and floods changed the ecology of the Bay of Bengal and helped give rise to a new strain of cholera that killed millions. Europe was visited by drenching rains and persistent cold that brought on famine and widespread civil unrest. In the United States, heavy snows fell in some states in June, killing crops and triggering an economic downturn. Imagine that! One calamity managed to affect a lot of people on a global scale and through different ways. At number three, we have the Carrington event in 1859. This happened when solar flares occurred. That pent up magnetic energy in the sun's surface is unleashed in blasts of radiation and charged particles. It resulted in an explosion which equaled the force of millions of hydrogen bombs. Solar winds are created which wreak havoc on Earth's atmosphere. It was considered the largest solar storm on record. The Carrington event made the skies glow with shimmering multicolored auroras as far south as Hawaii. Torrents of sparks shot out from some telegraph machines, starting fires and giving their operators painful jolts. The atmosphere was so charged with electricity in some places that technicians found they could disconnect their telegraph batteries and still transmit messages. If another disaster like this would occur today, telecommunications would turn the world upside down. How are we supposed to prepare against something like this? At number four, we have the Year of the Locust in 1874. 
It's as if it was taken out of the Bible. This crop destroying locust plague was a common occurrence on the late 19th century American frontier. However, nothing tops the one that happened in the Great Plains in the summer of 1874. One dry spring presented the conditions for Rocky Mountain locusts to lay their eggs in large numbers. They gobbled up entire fields of crops, local vegetation, and even the clothes off people's backs. Despite the efforts to try and burn the bugs with fire or blow them up with gunpowder, people were powerless against a large swarm. Along with destroying millions of dollars worth of crops, it became known as the Year of the Locust. At number 5, we have the Tunushta event in 1908. A blinding light streaked across the skies of Siberia and exploded over the Podkaminaya Tungushta River. It was followed by a shockwave with a force which was hundreds of times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped over Hiroshima, obliterating over 500,000 acres of forest as this also knocked people off their feet for more than 40 miles away. The good news is that no one died in this explosion, but like most disasters we have highlighted in this episode, its effects were spread on a global scale. Atmospheric and seismic devices were tipped off as far as England. The skies were so bright that people in Asia could read newspapers outdoors. Experts suspected that this was from a meteor strike, however, no sign of an impact crater was ever found. At number 6, we have the Bola Cyclone in 1970. This is the deadliest tropical cyclone ever recorded and killed upwards of 300,000 people, potentially even 500,000. It rampaged through Bangladesh, killing 45% of the city of Tazumudin, with winds over 225.3 kilometers per hour or 140 miles per hour and surge tides of over 6 meters. What made this disaster more tragic was the fact that the death toll could have been lower if only both governments sharing the coastline cooperated with one another. An emergency election was held a month later and those in power at the time of the tragedy were elected out of the office. And now, we're almost at the end of this episode. The last one is bound to both shock and interest you. However, there are also other natural disasters you ought to know. The Haiti earthquake in 2010 is one of them. Even before it was struck by an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.0, political conflict and a faltering economy came first. It left more than 70% of Haitians in poverty that sadly continues today. An impact like that managed to displace one and a half million people. Then there's Hurricane Sandy in 2012. What was predicted as a Category 1 storm quickly evolved into the largest hurricane on record at that time. Like all disasters, it spread havoc through the Caribbean before crashing into the United States' eastern seaboard, taking New Jersey and New York, including New York City offline. Over 100 people died in the United States alone. Well, there's also West Africa Ebola outbreak that went from 2014 to 2016. It was the deadliest Ebola outbreak in recorded history. The outbreak began in Guinea and quickly spread to Sierra Leone and Liberia as it struck heavily in urban centers. Ebola killed more than 11,000 people over the course of two years. All right, enough of that. Now, moving on to the last tragedy on our episode. At number 7, we have the Huascaran Avalanche in 1970. A 7.9 magnitude struck the coast of Peru. Today, it is known as the Great Peruvian Earthquake which killed over 70,000 people. However, the earthquake wasn't the only thing that happened on that day. It also triggered further deadly landslides and avalanches specifically an avalanche on the Peruvian mountain Huascaran. It caused a major part of the mountain to collapse. This wave of mountain is estimated to have been 50 to 100 million cubic meters of water, mud, and rocks that 
hurtled down the mountain at 193 kilometers per hour in just 45 seconds. Nothing could survive such a colossal avalanche, and tragically, almost nothing did. We truly have faced a lot of things over the course of our world's existence. This just proves how strong we are as a community. The world is indeed an amazing place. I mean, after all, we always manage to get back up after suffering such tragedies. Even now, with the COVID-19 pandemic happening amidst us, we continue to live our lives. But what do you think is the most tragic one in our episode? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.